What is one thing you can tell Reddit but not your own family? My mom's cooking is horrible. Sorry mom. Ali. I'm the one who used to eat all the feta. Mom thought it was my brother. She never confronted him about it. Just complained to me or my dad when he wasn't around. Then at night. I'd easily burn through like a half a container of feta. Duck your bro. That's what you get for smashing my Octon Semi Truck Lego set. Had sex with my cousin a few times, didn't know he was my cousin at the time. Found out when I ran into him at a family gathering. Sometimes at night I'd watch late night porn, think UK equivalent of Cinemax, in the living room with the door shut and it on mute, so I could hear if anyone was coming and quickly change it. Sometimes I could hear the TV in the room next door where my dad was watching TV. Sometimes the sound on his TV would match the muted program I was watching. I'd have to walk past the room he was on to go upstairs to bed once I was finished. He had a habit of falling asleep in front of the TV. So sometimes I'd have to wait in the living room until I hear him change the channel away or wait for the program to finish advert break. As I did not want the embarrassment of catching my dad watching porn. I farted into my infant baby brother's mouth once and caused him to projectile vomit. That my brother's gay. No one in the family knows. Not even him or his wife. But I know. I know. Using a throwaway because friends and family know my actual account. That I got my first blowjob today. I don't discuss my depression in much detail with anyone I roll. But I can hear. I know there's going to be a lot of people who understand what it's like. That when I was 17 I knocked out my 16 year old girlfriend. She had a miscarriage. It was twins. I'm numb to hope. I haven't felt actual joy in years. I stay alive to spare my mother the pain of burying her son. My history on reddit. The amount of porn subs I check out. I once tried to ride or exercise ball down a staircase in my house that had a rail shape and a landing platform halfway up down I rode down flipped and smashed my butt into the wall making a huge hole. I told them I tripped. They think I rolled a bowling ball down the stairs. It was roughly that size and I was in a after school bowling league. I think the bowling ball story makes me sound less stupid so I just let them believe that one. My siblings think of me as more of a parental figure than our biological father because he is a narcissistic drunk. That I feel obligated to love most of them. How horribly morbidly depressed I get at the end of every day and the following nightmares I get from it. Legit. I cannot function without performing some sort of sexual act, masturbation or sex, every day. That I attempted suicide by hanging a few months back. And that my now ex-wife not only ignored my suicide note and refused to take me to the hospital when I begged her to, but chuckled as I made the noose. They wouldn't disown me. They'd be devastated. And then they'd come for her. I'm too dumb and scared to do anything with my life and have always been a flake. I can never go through with things. I never feel like I'm good enough and I don't see that changing. Ever since 5th grade I have an issue with working going to school every day. I feel like full time jobs are so hindering. A 40 hour work week is ridiculously long and I hate that it's the standard. I like being alone but there's no jobs like that. I try to be happy at work and it's been a little easier lately. I'm so broke I have to work no matter what or I'll be homeless. Life is a pointless game. Why bother wasting away working for chump change for my whole life. I'd rather be dead but I can't commit to anything. I found out yesterday I'm gonna be a dad. Super excited and scared as duck. Edit. Wow thank you all. I have feelings for my best friend and have masturbated to her several times. I sometimes drink milk straight out of the container. You may want to tag this NSFW. I watch a ridiculous amount of porn for a 23 year old female. Also that I was hooked on dope for like a month at the beginning of this year and it took a near overdose for me to realize what I was doing. Yet I still crave it sometimes. That I consider myself a recovering drug addict. 492 days sober. My mom has no issues with gays. But has issues with bisexuals. I am a bisexual. Well duck. 
This thread has made me realize I have a lot of issues I am still dealing with about myself. But I've made it this far and I will not be broken by the world. I want a divorce. He doesn't help with the bills. He thinks that any money he makes is his to spend. Constantly changing jobs. Always part time and minimum wage. I hate my job but can't leave because of the insurance. I'm constantly belittled and held accountable for others at that it whole job. I'm struggling with depression and anxiety. I'm losing weight at a rapid pace from stress. I carry my stress in my back and my job is very physical. I have no retirement in my future. I've already given up ever owning a house. I'm 40 and as of now I'll have to work until I'm dead. That I ducking hate my father. It's weird because I love him at the same time. There's history. That my stepmom and her side of the family are toxic hypocrites who preach about the bible and religion. But who have never lived like a christian a single day in their lives. And that this is why my cousin cut them all out of his life and only talks to me. This is also why my step aunt hates me with a burning passion. I'm female. Even though I've only dated men my whole life and have been in a serious relationship with one for the past 7 years. I like women equally as much as men. I've been attracted to females my whole life the same as males but was deceived of my knowing because us females call each other pretty and sexy and men don't do that. But when I did, I meant it sexually I suppose and didn't realize that till later in life and that other females didn't mean it the way I did. I know my family would accept me. Probably not my grandma lol. But I can't ever picture separating with my current male partner so they will probably never know. My cousin's daughter is actually my daughter. He is sterile and they approached me to be the sperm donor. I like boys almost as much as I like girls. That I'm not a virgin and I'm straight. I don't particularly want to have those conversations with others in my family. But my mom is the main reason I never will. I'm in my 30s. So you'd think the first at least would be taken for granted. But I was very sheltered as a teenager. Then went to a religious college, even though I'm not personally religious. And I've never introduced them to or even told them about anyone I've been involved with. My mom reacted badly every time one of my older siblings introduced her so and I was never involved with anyone seriously enough to consider it worth the drama. I live a few hours away from my family. So I only see them a few times a year anyway. As for being straight, I could tell them that but I won't on principle. My mom won't come right out and ask me. But she's come very close in conversations where she says she doesn't understand why I care about LGBTQ issues. Several years ago, in response to a joking comment I made about my then BFF, she told me she'd have a stroke if I married a woman. She was dead serious. And I find that totally offensive. Letting her think that I might be a lesbian is my way of punishing her. Maybe that's ducked up. Also, I don't want kids and she's less likely to push that conversation if she's afraid she'll find out I'm gay in the process. This is something that my mother and brother both know part of, but which I could never tell them the whole truth. Much less my father. My mother is kind of manipulative. Something I've only recently realized. When my parents were getting divorced. She convinced my brother that he wanted to look at my father's search history. My brother was freaked out by what he saw and refused to tell her what was the cause. So my mother then told me that my brother had looked at my father's search history and found something disturbing. But wouldn't tell her what it was. Asked her why she didn't look herself. She insisted she didn't care. But clearly did care. And at the time I was siding with her in the divorce. So I looked. What I told my mother was that he'd been chatting with someone named Trish. And she was too interested in the woman he was seeing to care about what had freaked out my brother. What I didn't tell my mother is that my father had been doing a lot of googling some explicitly sexual stuff. Both outers and videos. And I now knew way too much about my father's sixth life. As did my underage brother. My brother doesn't know that my mother got me involved. My mother doesn't know what actually disturbed my brother. And my father doesn't know any of this. And that's how I intend to keep it. That I dislike my two adult children. They are spoiled. Money hungry. Soul sucking. Bad decision making jerks. They were not raised that way. But their friends lives were easier to emulate. Why? Because negativity brings more attention than normalcy. Having the same parents their whole lives made them different. 
To be accepted meant to they had to reject the positive their friends admired and make their lives miserable to fit in, in their eyes only. I fear for my grandchildren. Their parents make itty decisions based on never being better than their lifelong friends so as not to hurt their feelings. Now they have both dug themselves into deep holes of mistakes. We cannot and will not bail them out of their messes anymore. Kids, you're in your 30s now. Our mistake was we should have moved during your teen years. Widen your friendship circle. Your mistake is that you have not moved on in life. It will come back to bite you in the ass like it did to us. I know that my wife had an affair with another woman. And I have stopped talking to her for nearly 8 months. My mother keeps asking if everything is okay with my marriage. And I just tell her I'm fine. I think she knows it's not. But doesn't say it. I'm just biding my time until I can have my own house. And then I'm gonna file for divorce. And hopefully pick up the pieces. I'm in a family full of very religious Muslims that always lecture me on how I should be a better Muslim. But what they don't know is that I'm an atheist. My weekly volunteering sessions are just me hanging out with my GF. My mom wants me to only get in a relationship with the girl I weak marry. But how am I gonna know which girl is a right fit if I don't try around and have a few relationships first? I'm B. Atheist. And not a virgin anymore. I get love last. Not horny. Some days I just want to cuddle the duck out of someone I'm intimate with. Probably doesn't help that I'm a hopeless romantic and get interested in women at the drop of a hat. Being a guy sucks colon. That one of our older cousins used to sexually abuse a couple of my other cousins including me when we were 6 or 8. He died of cancer in 2013 and I had to give shoulder to his body before cremation. While I was carrying him it made me realize that karma is real. One of those rare occasions when I was not sure what to feel. This took a lot of gut to type and it's the first time I've talked about it. To this day only me and those cousins know about this fact and we've never talked about it. Even to each other. Now that he is gone I think talking about this in the family will only tarnish his memories. So this secret is pretty much going to with me to my grave. I'm a dom. And have been for 3 years now. Some of the things I've done to friends would horrify my family. My diploma is fake. I never graduated. I love you but I'm too afraid to say it. I keep making advances and keep falling back further. I want to just not exist. I'm tired of being overweight. Being a loser. Having no friends. I just want this all to end. After reading through all but 103 comments here. I'm just gonna leave this link here. Hope some of you use it. I bust a nut at least twice a day. At least. I love you guys. Mostly. Big love. If I told my parents they'd be like. You are a dweeb. That even though it's been over a year since I showed any major signs of depression. I still think about ending it every single day. I haven't talked to anyone in so long. I live with a horrifically abusive narcissist and her conspirators. She has no idea my friends are coming to help me escape from this hellhole this year. Also mom, I have a girlfriend. Even though you told me no one would ever love me. I ran over a cow with a tractor by accident. I jizzed my pants in high school when a girl from my class sat on my lap in the back of a van during a school trip. I was still a virgin back then so I was intensely embarrassed. In my defense, she had a nice booty. Had an awkward jog to the washrooms after everyone piled out. When I was a child I'd eat butter sticks and bread loaves. Not even because I was hungry but for fun. My mom was always overworked and thought she was just crazy forgetful and didn't buy bread or butter but no little 9 year old me would eat entire sticks of butter and loaves of bread as snacks. No don't ask me how I'm still alive now idk. I fully intend on signing out after my cat and mom have passed on. I live to keep them happy. T. I resent the fact that no matter how hard I have worked or studied, how generous I am with them, how much I help them out, that I'll always be second best to my older sister who is prettier, louder and more charming than I am. The excuses they have made for her behavior over the years, turning a blind eye to her relentless bullying and manipulation of me for years as a teenager, 
the bailing out when she has been too lazy to work or study, the bullet policy you had that we had to have everything equally and fairly so I was denied going to a better school where I had gained a scholarship because my lazy sister had no hope in hell of ever going there with her grades and lack of work ethic, the amount of times they have helped her out financially, the amount of inheritance that was due to be mine but has been siphoned off for my sister because she needs it more and because you have a better job and earn more than she does. Why the duck do you think that is? Do you seriously think that I'm blind and can't see what you have done for the last 30 years? I love you. Mar and Pa. But when it comes to it in the future I'm not paying for your care at home. Let your favorite child pick up that. It's not like I will receive any inheritance anyway the way it's going. The real kick in the teeth is that since my sister left home and stopped bullying me, we get on brilliantly. She is lovely and a ray of sunshine. I find it hard to resent her for my parents' blatant favoritism that continues. Oh. And my parents, mother in particular, has been all too happy to swan in and take credit for my achievements and hard work over the years. GRRRR. Rant over. I have done six things for money. My boyfriend knows this but he's from a place where it's legal and less shocking for him to accept. I also regularly participate in group 6 with like the same 7 people and yes, my boyfriend is one of them. He's a giant ginger Norwegian dude and my parents credit him for calming me down in life. Ha, huh, if they knew. I was born. Because my mother didn't want it to work. That's why I hate her on one side but I still love her on the other side. I was born and bred in a Muslim family and I lost my virginity to my then boyfriend, now fiancé. If they find out. Oh 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 h h h h h h h boo i i i i. I've done sugar a few times. That I typed a million things here and deleted them all. My relationship with my mother no longer exists because I chose to marry my husband. And I miss her so much. I am in the last month of my pregnancy. Tired of being pregnant. I want him to get out already. I cry almost every day. I want him to come out but I also don't want to take on the responsibility of a mother. I'm scared and feel like I won't be a good mother. I feel like I'm losing myself. I just get lost in watching TV. I cook and clean and take my shower. It's like I'm on autopilot. Comma. Edit. Thank you to everyone who left me such nice and encouraging replies are it really did help reading through all of them. That my mother is abusive, delusional, and actively treats me worse than the children from her first marriage. She is root of most of my mental health problems. She insists she has depression when she clearly doesn't. She describes it as feeling blue some days, which turns out to be really rough on me because I have been suicidal for the past 8 years. All my half siblings think I am so spoiled brat and her favorite too. They never see her verbally abusing me and won't listen to me when I try to explain. I spent most of high school thinking I was a misogynist with major anger issues that no girl would be attracted to and hating myself for having depression because of what she said to me. It took going to college and getting real friends to reassess my self image. That I masturbate to hentai. I got a tattoo when I went to Vegas last. Pretty big one on my bicep too. Anyone want to take bets on how long until they find out? I've stuck my D in a guy's butt and received roadhead to see what it'd be like. Zero stroke 10 did not enjoy. I was molested by my mom's stepbrother, I think. I know he's some sort of uncle. I'm a guy, 23 now, and when I was about 6, we went to some kind of huge family gathering at their house. When night came, he manipulated me into giving him oral and bribed me with candy. I only did it for about a minute. He didn't finish. Then he tried to perform oral on me but I couldn't get an erection. Then we just quit and I played Ratchet and Clank the whole night. Without thinking anything of what had happened. Really ducked up my childhood. My mom and I would always fight and argue because I was confused and just angry. Still am. Because I couldn't tell her. I ended up running away from her house. To my dad's. As soon as I was old enough to make the choice on who I'd rather live with. Parents divorced long before, I've decided I really don't want to tell my dad because he would most likely hunt him down. And he's getting older, 55, and I don't want him to have to worry about me. However I do want to tell my mom, I just haven't out of fear and embarrassment. 
Also really want to talk with a therapist but I don't know if it will help much since I'm a decently functioning adult now. When I was 12 and AOL chat rooms were crazy popular and internet security wasn't really a thing yet and everyone went around squawking RSL like crazy horny seagulls. I almost met up with a 20 something year old guy I met in a chat room who used to go to my school. He told me to skip school, meet him at the library, and to make sure I wore a skirt. I was only 12. I thought I was going to make a new friend. But I was a straight A perfect attendance kind of kid. So I chickened out and went to school. In retrospect, it's a good thing I didn't go. Because that guy was probably all set to abuse himself a 12 year old. That I haven't gotten laid since 2011. I don't know how it happened. I'm not unattractive and I'm go on dates and stuff but I had mostly enjoyed being chilling alone at home and was dealing with my own problems. However now I'm very self conscious. What if I forgot how to do it? I'm in my 30s right now. Girls will expect me to teach them something. To be have a lot of experience but the last time I got laid they probably got a first kiss. This type of stupid that keeps me up at night and I cannot tell anyone. Because of fear of getting mocked or have my dignity ruined.